Have you ever considered getting a fully custom keyboard? I mean, one that you build yourself and then you looked into it and you realize, wow, there is so much that goes into building a keyboard. And then on top of that, it is incredibly expensive. However, the alternative is buying keyboards from companies like Corsair or Razer or Asus or whatever. And honestly, these companies make phenomenal keyboards. But in a lot of cases, you have a keyboard that you're really interested in, but maybe they don't make it in the color you want. They don't provide it in the switch you want. And the list goes on and on. Now, with all that being said, I had a company contact me and they said, hey, we want to send you a a keyboard for review and you get to keep the keyboard we won't pay you but we'll give your audience a discount code if they're interested and so they sent this guy over i think it's called dare you or dare you honestly the first time i saw it i read the bauer simply because i'm a tech youtuber and i watch him he's a tech youtuber and i was like oh the bauer made this but no it's not the bauer now with that being said it's the ek861 trinity gtr now this is coming from a website called bzfuture.com and they do offer many other products outside of just keyboards but today we are talking about the keyboard. Now we are going to do a deep dive on the keyboard, but before we do, if you are interested in buying this keyboard or another keyboard that is similar to it, I have a discount code for you, ER15, and I'll show it to you right now. Here is my exact keyboard. It is the white model with the blue switch. And as you can see right now, the full price of this is $75.12. And after shipping fees, it comes out to be around $80. However, if you use my discount code, it will bring it down to $69.22 out the door. I do not get a commission on this or anything like that at all. That is just a discount code to help you out if you're interested. But now let's talk about the keyboard to see if you are interested. Okay, so the first question we should ask is, what comes in the box? The keyboard arrived in the orange box that I just showed you, and it was wrapped in bubble wrap. Inside the box, you get the keyboard, obviously, and my model is the white model. You get a USB cable for charging, and you also get a USB dongle, which establishes a 2.4 gigahertz connection for the fastest connectivity speeds possible for wireless typing. You also get a tool in the box that allows you to pull up your keycaps and your switches and switch things around. And of course, you do get a very basic starter guide or user manual, and I do appreciate that. Okay, well, that was the quick unboxing, but now let's talk about the keyboard itself and what do I think about it? Well, first of all, I love how it comes in white because not all keyboards do come in white, especially from the big manufacturers because White keyboards or really white products of any kind are actually harder to produce because if there's any flaw in the manufacturing process, you see it. Whereas with a black product, you're not gonna see it so much. And so that's why you see so many computer components in black instead of white. And that's why a lot of times when you're looking at buying a part, the white version is actually more expensive. I also like how light it is because honestly, it's not really too heavy. I mean, it's a little bit dense because you're packing a lot into a small form factor, but overall, it's not too heavy and I like that. Now, speaking of the small form factor, I like that it's not taking up a lot of space on the desk. And honestly, it blends in very well with the overall white aesthetic that I have in my setup. The board is obviously RGB, so it has all the rainbow puke that PC gamers know and love. And the board comes in other variants as well. Now this keyboard comes in either black or white and whether if you get the black version or the white version, you can get it with either a red switch or a blue switch. My model is the blue switch. I cannot speak for the red switch as I did not get a board sent to me with the red switches. So I have no idea what that is like, but as for the blue switches, I can tell you they feel incredibly clicky. And honestly, I kind of like that. I guess that can serve as both a sound test as well as, hey, what are the switches like? Overall, for me, the switches feel very responsive. And like I said before, very clicky. And I'm not used to having a clicky keyboard as I'm currently using a Logitech keyboard, which has a tactile switch on it. And honestly, I think I prefer the clicky switches. Now, let me go ahead and tell you why a keyboard like this might be right up your alley. Number one, it's going to be cheaper than anything you can buy from a big box retailer or manufacturer. Other companies are charging hundreds of dollars for their keyboards, whereas the EK A61 starts under $100 out of the box, and with my discount code, you can save even more money on top of that. Now, unfortunately, it does only come with ABS keycaps, but hey, they have to cut something somewhere, right? But the more important thing is that it does have fully hot swappable switches, and honestly, I think that is far more important. You can switch these switches out to any other switch that you want. Am I saying switch enough? No, we're not talking about the Nintendo Switch. There are a lot of things packed into this little keyboard that I think are absolutely awesome. I mean, check this out. You can literally take off the feet on this keyboard. They're magnetic. Look how easy this is. Right off, 
right back on, right off, right back on. They're magnetic. You don't have to really fight it or anything. You just line it up and it sucks it right back in. Now, in addition to all of this, the keyboard is fully compatible with Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android. And on top of that, it has three different modes of connectivity. You can connect this keyboard to any one of these devices or operating systems over a wired connection with USB, a Bluetooth connection, or my personal favorite, the 2.4 gigahertz dongle that is included in the box. Honestly, this is the best way to connect not only this keyboard, but any wireless device you may have around your house because it ensures the best connectivity with the lowest latency possible if you want to maintain a wireless connection. Obviously, nothing will ever be better than a dedicated wired connection, but if you're going wireless, a 2.4 gigahertz dongle will always be better than a local Wi-Fi connection or a dedicated Bluetooth connection. Now the EK A61 does come with a fully rechargeable built-in lithium battery, which is rated for 1900 milliamp hours. Now, as I stated before, this is a fully RGB keyboard, which is totally awesome, but RGB does kill battery life. And so with the RGB on all the time, you're only gonna get about four days worth of battery life out of it. But if you're willing to turn off the RGB, you can get up to 20 days of continuous usage out of the keyboard off of one single charge. That is pretty impressive. Impressive. Okay, so in conclusion, here are my final thoughts. Number one, I think the keyboard is a high quality keyboard. I honestly do. For it to be such a small form factor, it is definitely a dense keyboard without feeling too heavy. And to me, because of that, I think that says quality, in my opinion. Now, for me personally, I think this keyboard may be perfect for the person who wants a good quality mechanical keyboard out of the box without breaking the bank. And later on, they'll be interested in going into the custom keyboard field. I think the EK A61 is a good jumping off point for anybody looking to get into the custom keyboard field. I know I was looking to get into custom keyboards. Honestly, I got turned off because it was way too expensive. And honestly, I felt like it was a little bit complicated and I'm a wireless snob, I really am. A lot of the companies that I looked into that had boards that I was interested in was basically only selling boards that were wired or with a Bluetooth connection. And honestly, I'm a wireless snob. I want that dedicated 2.4 gigahertz connection. And there's not a lot of custom keyboards out there that provide that, at least not right now anyway. So you're paying hundreds of dollars to end up with a wired keyboard or a Bluetooth only keyboard. And for some people that is totally fine, but for me it's not. What I love about this board is that it gives you that dedicated 2.4 gigahertz connection right out of the box. But then later on down the road, when you have a little bit more money and more time to experiment, you can upgrade the keycaps, you can upgrade the switches, you can take it apart and do whatever you want to it to customize it and make it sound different. I think that is totally awesome. Like I said, I think it is a great board to serve as a jumping off point for people looking to get into the custom keyboard market on a budget and also still have a really good, high quality mechanical keyboard out of the box. And two more quick points before I go. Number one, thank you BZ Future for sending out this keyboard for review. I do appreciate it. It's a good keyboard and I'm happy to have it. And number two, thank you to all of my Patreon members for being part of my community, supporting me and helping me build a sponsor free future. I really do appreciate it. And if you would like to become a Patreon member and get behind the scenes early and exclusive access to content that will never be here on YouTube, click the link in the pinned comment below. That's all I got for this video. Thanks for hanging out. If you enjoyed it, please do me a favor, hit that like button because it goes a long way in helping me out. If you're new, get subscribed. And until next time, E-Rock out.